Hi everyone and welcome back to another boss fight video on Black Myth Wukong. This time round we are fighting Ling Shizi. And you encounter this boss not long after you finish with the Wandering White. However, before you encounter this boss, you would have encountered a lesser demon called Guang Zhi. And when you defeat that lesser demon, it would allow you to use his fire attacks, which actually makes this encounter easier. So this is the first time I'm fighting this boss, and all that dodging practice I have done previously is finally paying off, as I managed to at least dodge half the attacks in this entire fight. And by now I have also learned not to spam the attack buttons so that I don't get hit so many times in the midst of my attack combos. This is my first attempt on the boss, so there's a lot of dodging as I wanted to see how the boss was moving and learn a bit more about his attacking moves. Though I'm a bit more familiar with the controls now, I sometimes still smash the wrong button in the heat of the battle. That resulted in a giant smackdown from the boss and not capitalizing on more attacks after immobilizing him. Now the saving grace for this fight was that I was able to transform and I actually found out that after transformation, it gave me a whole new life bar at maximum in addition to dishing out fire damage and that fire damage helped a lot in wearing the boss's life down. Since this was a first fight and it was my first time using Guangzhi's fire transformation, I didn't know what to expect but I was pleasantly surprised. So here's the transformation and you can immediately see a whole new life bar plus the fire attacks that I am going to dish out. What I didn't know was that at approximately 75% health, the boss would actually jump to the roof, and it made me lose quite a bit of time in this transformation phase. So here I am waiting for the boss to come down, and hoping that I would be able to get a bit more damage in before the timer runs out. Here you can see instructions on screen that is actually teaching me how to use his moves, but honestly I was a bit more preoccupied having my eyes on the boss. Here you can see all that fire is causing extra damage to the boss, and this really helped me out a lot. So by the time I reverted back to the destined one, the boss had about a third of his health left, and I'm trying not to get smacked around too hard. I think the problem with me on this game is I have not developed any muscle memory with regards to the buttons, so the boss fight is still an uphill struggle, and I believe that all future fights similar to this one will require me to develop that muscle memory and the ability to dodge even more effectively. Though this was my first time fighting this boss, I miraculously managed to defeat it, so I'm probably getting used to this by and by, though I admit that I am still pretty slow. Do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more upcoming scrappy boss fights as I journey through the world of Black Myth Wukong step by step, one boss at a time. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.